close-up look at all your Concho Valley High School football. This is Inside the Game. Sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group. Welcome to our first show of Inside the Game for this 2022 season. I'm your host, Keon Russell, and football is finally here. And we'll be giving you your final scores and updates on your favorite Concho Valley teams throughout the season every Friday night at 1015. Week one of Texas high school football season is in the books. We start things off with our game of the week, the Lakeview Chiefs High School taking on La Mesa. The Chiefs are fired up and ready for their season opener. Early in the first quarter, running back Keaton Bolton takes it to the crib off a handoff up, up the middle for 57 yards. La Mesa leads 7-0 early on. Still early in the first now, the Chiefs are aggressive on the defensive side of the ball. Yep, as you can see here, Taven White intercepts the pass for Lakeview from Hector Zamora to get the ball back for the Lakeview Chiefs. Just a few plays later, Devashton Manley catches the pass for a touchdown to make the score 7-6 La Mesa. Quarterback Bryce Medley takes the snap himself for the score right before halftime to trim the deficit 14-12. The Chiefs with the big win tonight, 44-28 at home. The Central Bobcats are hungry for the opportunity to improve this 2020 season under second-year head coach Kevin Crane. The Bobcats hope to do just that this season. Central Bobcats hosted their first day of two-a-day practices this morning. The stadium was full of energy and excitement, and the Bobcats look focused for this 2022 season. We're excited to be out here this year. We've got a good group, uh, a, a good senior class, and so, you know, uh, to be, to be honest, what we're really trying to do is just improve. You know, we, we got to improve in uh, every phase of the game, offense, defense, special teams, and we're constantly trying to do that. So really the message is just to continue to work, continue to improve, and get better every day. The Bobcats ended 2021 with a 4-7 record, finishing fourth in District 2-6A. Under second-year head coach Kevin Crane, the Bobcats have worked this offseason to ensure more success heading into this season. Guys showed up on time, ready to go this morning. We asked them to be here at 6 o'clock a.m. A lot of them were here uh, in the building at 5.30. And so, um, you know, just a lot of excitement uh, for the start of football season. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You wait all summer and you put in a lot of work all summer to get to this point. And now we're finally here. So uh, it's, it's exciting and uh, it was a good morning. It's great to get back out here and play again with teammates I mean, last year. So hopefully we can do something with it do better than last year, make the playoffs, win something. The Cats will now be in a six-team district and look to reclaim dominance this year. Central will look to extend its impressive playoff streak to 13 this season, and that all starts game one against Colleen Shoemaker. We feel really like, confident about what we're going to do this year because, I mean, we start off with Shoemaker and we beat them last year, then El Paso here beat them last year. So, I mean, we're pretty confident. And the Central Bobcats are coming off a 4-7 and seven overall finish and 2-4 and four showing in District 6A last year in Kevin Crane's first season. Now, head coach, they were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs last year to Shoemaker and went 3-6 and six overall, 2-5 and five and 12-6A in sixth place. But the Gray Wolves were a young team in 2021. When these, two faced, when these two faced off just last year in the opener, Central shook off Shoemaker 43-28 at home last year. And the last time they traveled to Colleen in 2020, the Bobcats were beat 61-35. Central tuned up for the season with the scrimmage at home against Lubbock Coronado last Thursday. Central been keeping this one very close throughout, just like previous years have been between the two schools. But Central falls this evening, unfortunately, 31-24. Wall. The Wallhawk High School football team returned to action against Eastland this Friday on the road. This season, they had eight offensive and ten defensive starters return. That extra experience will only help the Hawks as they may change things up on the offense and continue to play stellar defense. Now, the Hawks are number 18 in 3A Division II on the road against number 23 in 3A Division II, Eastland. What a statement win for the Hawks this evening. Wall would jump out to an early 28-6 lead and be in cruise control from here. Winning it tonight in the top 25 showdown against Eastland, 49-20. Wall will have their home opener next weekend against Cisco before hosting right now number four in the country, Jim Nett. 
And my people right here in the Concho Valley just keeping you updated and aware of some of these scores here. First, we have Ballinger and Sonora in a contest. These two are, are familiar to one another after being in the same district not too long ago. Sonora wins 29 to 7. Right under that, we have Brady and Comanche meeting for the third time in three years. Comanche comes out victorious 49 to 7. Grape Creek and Stanton get things squared off as well for the third straight time. Stanton pulls away in the second half, 33 to 8. And for some Saturday night football, we have our last matchup. Miles and Midland TLCA face off at 7 p.m. We will have more on that tomorrow at 10. The Junction Eagles are ready and believe in their second year head coach to turn this program around. Let's take a look. For the first time in seven seasons, the Junction Eagles found themselves outside of a playoff spot in 2021. Now, the Eagles have been very busy this offseason, moving up from 2A Division II to 2A Division I. Let's see how head coach Scott Friedman is preparing to get his team back to the playoffs this season. You know, honestly, I think we're going to beat a high level. I mean, I think really every Friday we're going to be a hard team to beat. I think just because we're going to play hard. Uh, we do have a lot of youth, a lot of inexperience, but the way they're working, I think that's going to be While being the head coach of a team with predominantly freshman and sophomore athletes, Coach Freeman has shown the importance of being a good role model on and off the field. It's awesome. I mean, all these kids here, you know, since we've been in Junction, they've been just welcoming to, to me, all my staff. Uh, you know, the kids, every day they work hard. So it, it's, you never have a bad day when you come to work here. That's been the, the biggest thing for me. You know, I don't dread coming to work. All these kids, they're out here busting their tail. I um, mean, we appreciate that. As for getting back on track and reaching the playoffs this year, the Eagles refuse to be outworked this season. There's the motivation. The hunger to get better. Everyone's excited and motivated to come out here every day. It might be early in the morning. This worked us a lot harder than we have in the past. We have more kids, everything. Our team's just getting better this year. The Eagles will heavily rely on their freshman and sophomore class this season. We look to see them put it all together starting August 26th at DeLeon. Reporting from Junction High School, I'm Keon Russell, k -San Sports. Have you heard? Tempur-Pedic sleep is better sleep. With innovative memory foam developed by NASA, Tempur-Pedic mattresses reduce motion transfer. Which means less tossing and turning so you can sleep undisturbed through the night. But which Tempur-Pedic is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Or get a free $300 gift when you purchase a new Tempur-Pedic. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365-night better sleep guarantee. Shop Denver Mattress today, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. Growing up, our daughter Macy was always in the gym around sports. When she was in high school, she was involved in cheerleading, volleyball, basketball, softball, and then her senior year, she decided to go back and do track, and she now does track at Hardin-Simmons University in Abilene. Several years ago, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure, and I contacted Shannon Matchmaker to find a primary care doctor, and they matched me with Anna Augustin. And it was a good match. So I've been her patient for several years now, and my daughter actually goes in to see her as well, too. They did place me on blood pressure medicine, and also it did kind of change my lifestyle a little bit. I started going to the gym a little bit, working out a little bit more, and trying to watch what I eat. I would, you know, urge people to find a primary care doctor. It definitely does make a difference when you're not just another, you know, another number that they see, that they actually know you. It gives you a good feeling was always our first choice for medical care is to go see the doctors at Shannon. All right, the Water Valley Eagles we take on. As you can see, early a punt in the game. And they pick it up and they start running. Up the sideline, he's going and he's going. Breaks a tackle. 
He's still running, and he gets to the end zone for an early score in the first quarter. Still early in the first quarter now. They run the ball, and they're scoring. Water Valley still leads 14-0. Again, Water Valley with the ball. They take the, they take the score up the sideline and another touchdown. Water Valley ends this one in a route, 80 to 19. Next we have Sterling City versus Odessa. Now number two had himself a day, scoring the first touchdown of the game. As you can see here, another pitch off to the sideline. Ah, he breaks the tackle, spin move, and he's on his way up the sideline. The 10, the 5, touchdown. And now we have Odessa as they couldn't seem to find any rhythm against the Wildcats defense. Another big hit for Sterling City as they go on to win in a blowout fashion, 68-0. to zero. After a great start to the season, the Sterling City Eagles come out victorious. Sabrina Hoover over there now for a live look in. Yeah, Keon, what a dominant game on both sides of the ball for the Sterling City Eagles. They came out leading 34 to 0 at halftime. Now the star of the game turned out to be running back Johnny Morrell, who came out with a 56-yard touchdown and a 74-yard punt return for a touchdown leading 42-0. Now they will play the Miles Bulldogs on September 9th at 7 p.m. Reporting from Eagles Stadium, I'm Serena Hoover, K Sand Sports. Back to you guys. This line shot brought to you by advanced custom windows it's time for our labor day celebration at trend furniture with five years no interest in all furniture's in stock and ready to go with all new accent furniture sofas and an exciting new lineup of mattresses with five years no interest at trend furniture across from sunset mall 4002 wellington oscar nails and spa wants to roll out the red carpet treatment just for you kevin and his talented and creative staff don't just want to give you beautiful nails they want you to have an amazing experience Check out our huge selection of colors and the best natural products to accommodate our customers. Whether you need a pedicure, manicure, waxing, facial, or massage, relax with a glass of wine and let us treat you like a star. Oscar Nails and Spa, 5582 Sherwood Way. Moving family and business offices locally and long distance for over 50 years, Welch Transfer and Storage is your primary local moving company. Our family of professional movers provide quality secure packing and damage-free moving services you can afford. Whether you are needing a large warehouse space or climate-controlled storage, we have you covered. When you are planning your next move across town or the country, call Welch Transfer and Storage. We don't just move boxes, we move families. Here's a word from another KSAN preferred partner. Whether you need new light fixtures, remodeling a kitchen, or building a new commercial property, you can trust RM Electrical to do the job right and treat you like family. RM Electrical. In the dark, we light the way. Welcome back to Inside the Game. As we look more at Robert Lee, the stairs opening up 2022 at home against Roten this evening. Robert Lee getting things going early in this one. Demer Odell scores for Robert Lee. A little later, check out this run here by Braden Sherwood. Down the sideline he goes and into the end zone for six. Robert Lee and Cruz control in this one under new head coach Lee McCown. The steers go to air now. Ryan Mendoza with the catch down the sidelines. He goes. Another one for Robert Lee. Steers win big tonight, 67 to 22 in the final. Stay with us. When we return, we'll be wrapping it up for our first show of Inside the Game. We'll be back right here after the break. Up the clock? And you're relaxing in that old thing? Come on. It's a little duct tape. It's good to go. Well, right now, you can score amazing comfort that's built to last with savings up to 50% during the Labor Day sale at Furniture Row. Shop today because the more you buy, the more you save. Save 200 bucks on every thousand you spend. That's right. We're doubling our usual offer. Plus four years, no interest. You had me at comfort. The Labor Day sale on now at Furniture Row. That was a pickup truck. Yeah, he's a speeder. Here comes a minivan. Whoa, a texter. Ooh, big oil truck. 
Those guys are hard to pass. School bus. Lots of stops. Cattle truck. Hey, boys. <laughs> oh, you're blushing, Larry. When driving through oil and gas production areas, slow down, give big trucks lots of room, and pay attention. Be safe. Drive smart. Thank you for joining us for the first episode of Inside the Game. We'll be back next week with another episode of Inside the Game for your Friday night highlights. Thank you. Inside the Game is sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group. Catering for Inside the Game is provided by Double Dave's Pizza Works.